serving for 18 years with Robert Dietrich. Dedicating his life to help protect his country took courage, selflessness, and determination. Robert Dietrich served throughout the invasion of Panama, and although facing many challenges while in the Army, he persevered for 18 years. Born in Pottstown, Pennsylvania in 1970, Dietrich was raised by his parents, Pat and Gerald, with his sister, Joyce. Pat was a stay-at-home mom, while Gerald was a steel worker. Although he didn't go to college, Dietrich had a job at A Quality and chose to hang with friends where he learned specific skills that helped him in the military. Without many opinions from family, he enlisted in the Army, which meant leaving his own family that consisted of a two-month-old son and now ex-wife. Dietrich says. I decided I wanted a job where I could have a retirement plan that basically nobody could take from me. Picking a branch of service came easily to him as he was attracted to the U.S. Army since he was a child. Before entering basic training, he spent seven days in pre-IET at Fort Indian Town Gap. Moving on to basic training, he quickly grew fond of Sergeant Patolo. Dietrich said. Well, in basic training, the most vivid memory was a drill sergeant Patolo fell off a second roof, second story roof. Oh, wow. And got up, dusted himself off, and basically told us that that's not the way you do it. After dusting himself off, he was back teaching physical training the next day, which amazed Dietrich along with the rest of his team. Dietrich's first assignment was in Berks, Pennsylvania, where he decided he wanted to go into active duty. While in active duty, his platoon sergeant, Sergeant Raybone, stuck out to Dietrich. Adding the four years that he spent on active duty and the 13 and a half years he spent in the National Guard, Dietrich served in the military for nearly 18 years. He says that, Hmm. During the National Guard. Uh, actually, my like 13 and a half years in the National Guard were kind of boring. Most of the fun I had was done on active duty. Working as a truck driver, he was required to participate in special training to be able to handle equipment such as weapons, tanks, and anti-tank missiles. This involved taking personal artifacts and necessary supplies from range to range into the commissary area. Dietrich and his crew were trained to quickly deliver materials and assist in making rescues. Making rescues on a tank were rare, so rescue missions were done on helicopters on active duty. There were ups and downs to participating in training. Dietrich says, Physically, that, you know, that's probably the hardest part is just to keep a a positive attitude that you can do what you're being taught to do. Seeing some of his crew not make it through training because of the physical and emotional challenges, Dietrich would need to remind himself to stay optimistic. On the other hand, not cooking was a high positive on his list. Dietrich says, Food wasn't all that great most of the time, but I didn't have to cook. The meals were prepared. Along with not cooking, Dietrich loved to explore other countries when being put there for a task. What was your favorite task in training in the National Guard? Hmm. My favorite task? Exploring. Being dropped into a country and being told to go find something. You get to look around to see the different countrysides. Although serving during the invasion of Panama, Dietrich wasn't told specific information about what was happening. Following orders and completing them was his and his team's only concern. Throughout his service, Dietrich's sergeants took care of him and his crew, so in return, the team helped them out just the same. His team became his family as they navigated through countries together. Throughout Dietrich's service in the National Guard in an active duty, he stayed in touch with his family and friends at home through paper. Even though time was minimal, Dietrich was able to make 15 to 20 minute calls to close friends, family members, and international people every couple of days. He says that, 
one one shift of people that would be out doing one thing while you were doing something else and then when you had time off another another shift was out doing what you were just doing each platoon was given a little time of their day to spend as they wanted to and dietrich valued that time along with talking to family and friends dietrich would spend a lot of his free time playing volleyball one platoon against another he remembers that we played volleyball in full in full mop deer. Yeah, that made it because you had the mask on, you couldn't see, so you're still trying to play volleyball. He agrees that even though it was uncomfortable, it was a fun and a memorable time. Another memory that Dietrich recalls was on one evening there was a tornado brewing and they had six tanks loaded up all ready to fire. When the storm finally blew up, everyone was taken off the range into another building, but Dietrich, the platoon sergeant, and another sergeant stayed behind. A few minutes later, a lieutenant pulled up in a Humvee and asked what they were looking at. They pointed at the sky and showed him the swirling tornado off in the distance. Dietrich remembers that after the lieutenant left out of fear, all of them stood laughing at his reaction. Dietrich describes his 18 years of serving as a good opportunity and fun. It was hard leaving the military because he made many close friends, but because of his knees he was no longer physically fit for service. He explains that his knees were weak because he jumped out of too many perfectly good aircrafts. The cartilage in his knees continued to grow weak and was still cause Dietrich pain every so often. Dietrich ended his years in service on June 6th of 2008. He returned straight home to his family, they welcomed him back with open arms. Readjusting to life, Dietrich claims, wasn't very difficult. He went straight back to work at Fort Indian Town Gap as a carpenter. Since Fort Indian Town Gap is a National Guard training center, he was able to work and interact with co-workers who were also in the military. Robert Dietrich also joined the VA Medical Center, a veterans organization, and is in the American League. Robert Dietrich received many awards from active duty and the National Guard. A few would include the Army Achievement Award, National Defense Award, and the Good Conduct Award. Dietrich says that his 18 years of service made him a better person. They helped him to listen to other people, find any opportunity to help, and to be patient with people around him. Dietrich wants other people to know that if they ever have the opportunity to serve, they should take it. He believes that any war that the U.S. has fought was necessary. He says, Things have to be done in a certain way, and when it's not done that way, it doesn't really leave the United States a large option. It's hard to take control of a bad situation without getting into a war of some sort. That's why Dietrich believes that more people should join the military. Dietrich reminds us, don't be hesitant to protect what is yours, your country, your honor, your family. Serving the U.S. through the military not only teaches valuable life skills, it is also a great way to show support and pride for our country. Thank, Thank you, you for your 18 years of military, military service. service.